looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now look no further than my sponsor mutt coin bank guys you seriously cannot beat that value i promise use code poodle for five percent off your order what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden open team video guys and today i'm gonna go over the two confirmed golden tickets that we do have thus far in madden ultimate team guys now for the most part i do get word of these golden tickets i do know of them but of course i'm not at the liberty to reveal them until they already reveal the courses they're not my golden tickets right so i'm gonna go over the two that were already confirmed for you guys one as of last night one as of this morning and then there was the you know the original one like two days ago from slain so um shout out to him for being a part of that golden ticket process definitely a cool experience but anyways guys so for the thing going on here is we have two confirmed these are the guys that confirmed already like they're gonna send them in now of course is this subject to change yes because these guys could last minute through or through 60 and say, actually, you know what? I want to go this guy, right? And that's a very possible thing that could happen. I've seen it happen a bunch of times. There's a chance that EA rejects that guy because someone else did it. So actually, you still get that card. But that guy's making another card. So now that's a random GT that we weren't, we weren't expecting, right? So that, that happens quite a bit too. But guys, before we get into today's video, make sure to below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, if you haven't, head over to my coin bank down below and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Now, guys, moving on. So let's go into who we have. So guys, the first confirmed golden ticket, as you guys may have seen. Now guys, we don't know. In terms of confirmed golden tickets now, they said they will be reaching out to everyone by April 16th to kind of have everything in. So I suspect that the deadline's probably coming up within the next week, as well as we'll probably get in at least our first drop of golden tickets late April, like the week of the 20th to go almost the 30th right there. So definitely expect that at some point in the future. And of course, guys, when these cards drop, they're going to be 99 overall beast, archetypes, abilities, boost the stats they're gonna be the best cards in the game now there's gonna be like maybe one or two that are just duds like last year we had some duds that were like even as a golden ticket you didn't really want them and that's gonna be the case with some but almost every single one it's almost impossible to be a dud as a golden ticket unless you're like a linebacker a linebacker defensive tackle position that you don't really care to use and on top of that like like a zone linebacker like a Derek brooks type golden ticket would be the only card that people really wouldn't like um so the first one's grant delpit rookie for the cleveland browns you guys know who grant delpit is out of lsu i believe six foot three is a big guy um, I, I play franchise as the Browns for a bit. Grant Delpit was a great user because of how tall he is now. In franchise, he's very slow, but in ultimate team, he's actually very fast, right? He's gonna have some pretty good speed as well. We're gonna go for 84 card and kind of base from there. But Grant Delpit, guys, can be one of the best users in the game. A six foot three user with great hit power and everything. You'll see, Okay, so what is he gonna get? He's gonna get pretty much a plus 15 boost, right? So what do you see his speed going to? I figure his speed would be like a 97. And then he ends up getting sprinter. So he's going to have a 99 speed at safety. Almost guaranteed to have a 99 sp uh, speed at safety. Acceleration, 99. So he's going to have 99 speed, 99 excel. Play recognition. With lockdown and everything, that's going to be 99 as well. Right? Because you figure his play rec is going to be at least a 95. And then you put lockdown on him. His pursuit, probably 95 as well. His man coverage will probably be around like, I would say, around a 93. So you probably get his man coverage like a 98, 97. His zone coverage is going to be 99, locked down and chemmed up, right? His hit power is going to be 99 off the rip. You didn't got to touch that. I imagine that's going to be 99 off the rip. So you're going to get 99 hit power, 99 speed, 6 foot 3 safety. Next, at agility, you're going to have about a 99 agility or 97 right around there. Uh, in terms of jumping, it's going to be close to 99 as well, so that's great. His catching is a little bit low. His change of direction is pretty good because, again, that's going to probably end up being in the high, mid high 90s and all said and done. His spec catch is 670. Like his catching is not too great. And then let's see his block shot. His block shot is 56, so that's going to be horrible. Uh, for, so now here, here's what matters, right? What is this card missing? And this is what's going to be upgraded on the cards. So what they chose to upgrade was, first, the tackling. It makes complete sense. So the tackling off the rip, just being upgraded, he'll probably get like an 80 tackle. And then if you give him the boost there, he probably ends up with a mid-90 tackle. So again, this card is just awesome. Then his next thing they chose to upgrade, catching. He's probably going to end up around like a 75 to 80 catching. Now his catching is going to be in the 90s. And then he chose to upgrade block shed. His block shed is a 56, probably would have only been like a 70. Now it's going to be in like the mid 80s, low 90s. Card's going to be great. This card's going to be absolutely insane, guys. Grand Help is going to be a great card. Now, don't forget, he's 99 speed, right? So, okay, if you're just going to user him, what does he got? What matters for a user? Hit power. I say hit power, speed, change of direction, and probably tackle, right? And catching. He's going to have close to 90 catching. He's 6'3". He's 213. And he's got a big body frame, too, which kind of tends to get those, like, body animations on them. He's going to have 99 hit power. He can lay the boom. He can clear both ends of the field at super, super speed. He can tackle people. He can also stop the runs. So if you run him in, you do the click off. You can let him click off and just block shit through. This guard's going to be absolutely insane. I really like this Grand Delpit guard, guys. This is a good choice. Now, I was kind of nervous when I first heard the name. Like I said, I put in franchise mode. 
He only has an 88 speed, which is considered a super slow safety in franchise. So that was kind of exciting uh, when I did see actually how much he would get. The next confirmed golden tick, guys, the wide receivers. This is the first offensive confirmed one for the 49ers. Now, this is going to be Brandon Ayuk. So another young guy here. The thing with Brandon Ayuk, because he has a 90 overall, so it's going to be a little bit easier to even base his stats off of. So his last card was a series redux, or oh, well, a blitz promo card that he didn't get a series redux on. So Brandon Ayuk, essentially a slot wide receiver, guys. He will get 90. He was 90 overall, right? So he will get a plus 9. So what do we see off the rip? He probably gets a 97, 98 speed as well. So he ends up with a 99 speed, right? So off the rip, 99 speed, going to be good. Jumping, gonna get probably 99. His catching is going to probably only get to about a 94. His catch and traffic probably gets get to about a 94. His spectacular catch probably gets like a 97. His short running, I would say, gets to about a 95. His medium running gets to about a 93. And his deep running gets to about a 90. I would say a 93 as well. So off the rip, what do you see there? His route running won't be 99. His catching won't be 99. But his speed will be 99. So I would say, you know, you, you got to look at a few things there. But what does he have in the back of the card, right? Agility 91 is going to be good. It's probably going to be close to 99. His Excel is going to be close to 99. His jumping is going to be close to 99. His change of direction is going to be close to like 95, 97. That's pretty crazy. His ball carry vision as well. His juke move is going to be close to 95 or 96 ish. Spin move is going to be close to around 94, 95. His, um, break tack is going to be about a 90. So what could you upgrade, guys? I mean, the thing with this card is you probably want to, you can touch behind the card stats. But if you, want, if you want to guarantee some stats, you can maybe upgrade, you know, like his catch and traffic, because you know it might not be 99. You could also use chems for that, right? So it really just comes down to what the people who are doing the gold ticket decide to do. Now, if you're touching behind the car stats purely, I don't think you really need to touch Juke. I mean, Juke's going to be good. Spin's going to be good. Maybe you want to do his break tackle to get his break tackle to a 99. So that, you know, he can break, so he can make some plays on his own while having to actually Juke or do anything. Maybe you do his trucking if you're a trucking kind of guy. Maybe you upgrade his carrying. I mean, again, guys, this is a tough card. I mean, I personally don't like the, asp the, uh, the outlook on the route running and catching out yeah it could be generous right they could just give him some 99 catching or route running just because it's a gold ticket but again only nine only nine plus upgrades you can possibly get here and all of his catching and route running is in the 80s it's not a single 90 stat there so it does kind of concern me a little bit but again maybe they're going to do this card a little bit better than the initial stats do show because that's one of the things too right we try to base it off their base cards but at the end of the day we do know that there's a tendency for EA to just sometimes drop stats that don't make sense right like We've gotten cards you got a plus on upgrade, but only a plus three speed. We've gotten cards you got a plus three, you know, plus three upgrade, but like a plus five speed. We've gotten some weird stuff before. So, I mean, it's a golden ticket, so they may just send it, right, and give him a bunch of 99s. I hope so, because if not, he's looking very likely that the only 99 he's going to really have is his speed and maybe his jumping, but no catch and ground running. And then you don't really want to upgrade them, right, because it's like it's like they're going to be this close to almost being to that threshold. So, it's like, are you wasting a boost on a stat? Like, the point of those boosted stats, you want to get them to, like, dump it. Couldn't tackle, couldn't block, couldn't catch. But he was going to be super fast super good hit power and everything right so now you just made a catching tall speedy fast beast right you made him everything that's one of a golden ticket in my opinion but yeah it's about it for the video that's the two confirmed golden tickets we have brandon Ayuk and grant delpit i do think grant delpit's a really amazing choice so far brandon Ayuk isn't looking as great but again it really comes down to the stats i mean the card choice nothing's wrong with the guy right at the end of the day it's just the guy it's the stats that sound concerning off this card but again it may all end up being okay i mean you know how this stuff goes but hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys want to comment down maybe do some predictions you know comment down below some golden tickets you expect to see let me know down below if you guys actually got a golden ticket hit me up and i will help you create one but that's about it enjoy the rest of your day i'm out if you guys need anything any coins head over to my bank down below and use code pool at checkout for five percent off thank you so much for watching i'm out Peace.